So let's take uh, a few more transfer functions. We have this transfer function and uh, its frequency response is over here. So corresponding to omega equal to 0, we have uh, this, um, this thing 1 over j0. So what is magnitude of this complex number? Infinity and phase angle? Phase angle minus 90 degrees. So you have uh, infinity angle minus 90 degrees. Corresponding to omega equal to infinity, what is situation? So you can just uh, omit this one. So j3 omega and j omega. So it becomes j infinity and j infinity. What is 1 over infinity? Magnitude of this complex number is 0 and phase angle is minus 180 degrees. So how we should uh, sketch the polar plot? What do you think? What should be the shape of the polar plot? So uh, infinity angle minus 90 degrees. Where is that point? Somewhere uh, here at infinity. Uh, and angle is minus 90 degrees. And uh, corresponding to this thing, we have 0 angle minus 180 degrees. So this point. Uh, therefore, uh, based upon the information of these two points, we have this uh, sketch. It is rough sketch. Uh, can we also sketch it in this way or not? This is not possible. Why? The maximum angle is uh, the. Um, this is uh, this cannot exceed. Uh, uh, this cannot become more negative than minus 180 degrees. So this graph is not accurate. Uh, we can furthermore. Uh, determine the crossing of this graph on the real axis and imaginary axis. For that purpose, we shall uh, rationalize this complex number. Uh, we shall multiply uh, the multiply it uh, both numerator and denominator by complex conjugate of this one to rationalize it. So that becomes this one, and uh, this can also be written in this form. And uh, to determine the crossing uh, on the imaginary axis and uh, uh, on the real axis, we can substitute the real part to be equal to 0 and uh, likewise imaginary part to be equal to 0. And what we can see is that uh, this uh, real part becomes equal to 0 corresponding to omega equal to infinity and the imaginary part also becomes 0 corresponding to omega equal to infinity. So crossing is also only uh, for omega equal to infinity and we have already determined uh, that point omega equal to infinity is mapped over here. And uh, one thing uh, that is uh, more obvious is that uh, rather than this uh, black curve, this green curve is more accurate. Why do you think this green curve is more accurate? Green color piara hai or koi observation. So what you see is that as omega tends to infinity, real part becomes minus 3. So this uh, minus 3 is uh, over here. So that is the polar plot for this uh, uh, transfer function.